Hello, this is me, Sahara, with another video. Okay, I'll be weird. This is a story about how my $1,600 laptop got stolen this past weekend. I know, freak out. It's crazy. <laughs> um, so, this past weekend, I had a very, very rough weekend. Home this past weekend. Um, my mom came to get us on Friday. She rented a car this weekend to come get us. And um, it was Friday around like, I wanna say like 5.30, 6 or whatever. When I got in the car, um, you know that pocket that's on the back seat of a driver's seat? The, you know, it's on the pa driver's and passenger seat. It's like a little, you know, pocket, the back pocket. I don't know what it's called. Slid my laptop in there. You know, my MacBook, it's thin. So I slid it in there, cause you know, I don't have a case. I didn't want to just sitting in the seat because we had food and drinks and stuff. So I just slid it there. I fast forward nine o'clock for unloading the car, like whatever, because she had to take the car back that night. So I'm grabbing, you know, I had my blanket, I had um, pillow that they brought down here. Um, I got my suitcase in this arm. I had a Mountain Dew in this hand. The point is, I was full. Like I had, you know, I didn't have anything else to grab. I thought. Um, so I go in the house, you know, I have so much stuff in my hands, I think when I grabbed everything. And so, um, go in the house, talk to my other brother was at home, so I was talking to him. I put my bag down, didn't think twice, and just talking away, whatever. And my mom leaves, she's like, y'all got everything? I was like, yeah. No. Thing. Didn't realize still. My brothers were talking about making YouTube because they just started a YouTube channel. Go follow them. But I didn't even think, you know, like I edit all my videos on my laptop and I wasn't even thinking like, where is it? So the day goes on, whatever, seven o'clock, I'm leaving, I'm about to leave the house. And so I was looking for some clothes to change into. I saw my laptop charger. This is when I realized and I was like, where's my laptop? I'm just thinking like, I haven't even seen it. Like I haven't even moved it. I haven't touched it, whatever. Then I'm like talking to my mom. I was like, have you seen my laptop? And she's like, no. I asked my siblings, no. I just knew in that moment, I was just like. <laughs> Tears. I just started crying because I knew it was gone. And I'm just like, I just came out $1,600. I just lost a MacBook. Like, what is wrong with me? I'm a broke college student. I can't afford to be losing these expensive items. I was just like, I can't even explain the feeling I had in my stomach, in my head. Like I was just, I was just like, really. Fred pulls up, and I'm like, I tell him what happened. Well, I'm crying, so I have to tell him. But I told him what happened. I was like, can we go by the car rental place just to see if my car is there? And he, I mean, not my car, but the rental car there. And he's like, yeah, whatever. So we go. <laughs> no sign of a black Camry. And my mood was just going. <laughs> Everything was happening and I was just cry. And then I think think I'm about to get good news. Nope. You know, I'm freaking out. Like, okay, the car's gone, so that means someone probably rented it, which means they probably found it, which means they sold it. That was go up there next day. This is Saturday morning. It was like around I think eleven something. So we go up there and we're like, talk to this guy. This guy helped us this entire weekend. Because guess what? I didn't find it on Saturday. Nope. Mm-mm. So he was helping us Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Just so you know, it's the same guy. So, on Saturday morning, we go up there and we're like, hey, have you, you know, we told him our story about the laptop, blah, blah, blah. He was like, no, we didn't find a laptop. If, you, if someone loses a laptop, a phone, you know, ID, anything of value that you really need, they would have called, called us. The guy said if they find anything like that, they put it in a safe and they lock it, and they usually call right after, but they didn't call us, so we just thought, okay, we get to the safe, they just forgot to call us. Friday was when I, like, it was in the car, we returned it. Saturday, they closed at noon, which was crazy because it is Saturday, one of the busiest days, and you guys close at noon, which makes no sense to me. I don't, I don't understand. So, Sundays, our manager doesn't work, so, um, if you would've found it, he would've put it in the safe, which is in the manager's office. Pause. If someone loses a laptop, I don't care what day it is, if I need my laptop on a Sunday and there's no manager, you better figure out a way to get into that safe. That's my, I, that's what made me mad from the jump, well not from the jump, but since we, once we got there, that was the first thing that made me mad, like how can you not open a safe 
because the manager's not there. But that doesn't matter. There should be a assistant manager. There should be a, a head employee. I don't care what. But somebody should be able to get into that just in case somebody needs to come on a Sunday to get their belongings. That just, that makes no sense. I don't care. We were planning on coming up there Monday anyways because, you know, we needed another rental car to take us back to IU. Before we left, he said, I'll call the person that has the car now. It was some lady, I don't I don't know how old she was or who she, you know, anything about her, but he was like, I'll call her because she rented a car, but she's still in Fort Wayne. So he called her and he was like, hey, if you're not busy, could you check the car, blah, blah, blah. She was really cool about it. She didn't care. She was like, yeah, fine, that's fine. She went and she checked the back seats and she said, no sign of a laptop. Again. I realized I didn't have my laptop. I went to the <laughs> car place to go see if I had, like, see if the car was there. The next day. The manager wasn't there to check the safe and he said if he would have found it, he would have called us. And now the lady said it's not in the back seat. Like, it was just bad thing after bad thing after bad thing. Like, I can't, I just can't, I can't. Okay, so this is Monday. And so Monday morning, me and Fred go up there. And the manager was there, I see them. And um, we were in line, but it was like two, two people ahead of us. And it was just me and Fred, and my mom wasn't with us. So we go, I get in line, and I'm talking, and I like finally get up there, and I'm talking to her, and I'm like, hey, I came here yesterday with my mom. Did you guys find the laptop, or did you talk to the manager, or whatever? The lady didn't find the car, and then now the manager says, they've never found a laptop. I go home after this, and I, crying. I've been crying all weekend just so everyone knows. But I was crying. I was like this was like reality. Like I'm about to leave to go back to Bloomington in a couple hours. Um no sign of my laptop and I just keep getting bad news. So like not like nothing was going my way. I was just it was just all bad. I just kind of accepted the fact that it was gone. So that's why I was crying more than I was on Saturday and um Sunday cuz I was just like I'm about to go home, like there's no coming up from this, you know? My mom gets off at 2.30, so she, she, after 2.30, she just went straight to go get the rental car because you know, when you get a rental car, you have to, you don't have to, but you leave a car there, you take the car, when you come back, you switch it out. My mom left her police car there, and so when she wanted to go get that car, she just did it like a triple check, just like, hey, still any, like, any news about this laptop? And then, you know, of course, they say, no, we're sorry, we haven't found anything, blah, 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 like just bull. And my mom's like, well, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude or mean, but I'm gonna have to like press charges or file, you know, file a report on this. So, uh, can I get a list of like, you know, the people that were working, the people who cleaned the car, and the people who rented the car next? And they're like, yeah, yeah, sure. This is the same guy that was helping us, who was helping her again. It was like, so he goes in the back and he's writing all the stuff down. And I think when he went back there, he told the staff what was going on and whatever. So he, you know, right on in, comes back, hands my mom the paper. And my mom leaves the building, and this guy. So this isn't the guy that was helping us. It was in, like I think he was like the assistant manager or the manager. So he comes and he's like, he has his hands behind his back, and he's like, "You guys, you want to hear some good news?" And she's like, "What?" And he goes, "We found it." What? You mean you found it? It's been three days, and you're telling me that you just now found my laptop because my mom said she's gonna press charges. That is the only reason why they took this serious. I feel like the whole weekend they didn't even look. They didn't care. They probably opened the safe up. Oh, no, shut it. They didn't even care. They just, they didn't care about our situation at all. They just kept saying, oh, we don't have it, we don't have it. The guy who cleaned the car said he found it. I guess he runs and go get it and hands it to the, the assistant manager or whoever. And handed it to him and he gave it to my mom or whatever. But my mom was like, you know, where was it? And he was like, oh, it was in the office, just hid somewhere, like, I guess under some stuff or whatever. I was like, that doesn't even sound right. And so we were like, okay. And so my mom's like, well, can I talk to the guy? And so I guess she goes to the guy and she's like, you know, what's up? How, like, where'd you put it, blah, blah, where'd you find it? He's like, he said, yeah, I found it on Saturday. Um, I put it in the room. Uh, I knew somebody was gonna come looking for it. Why didn't you tell any of the managers? First of all, your position is just like the cleaning person. Like, you, he's no, he has no authority or anything. Like, he can't just, take a $1,600 laptop and just put it wherever he wants. He has to tell somebody, like, that's not okay. Like, I feel like he should get fired for that or like really in trouble for that. So she's like, okay, well, thank you, blah, blah, blah. My mom then, you know, she's about to leave. But the guy that was helping us the entire week, he comes out, he's like, hey, 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 can I talk to you? She's like, yeah, and I guess he was like, um, he was like dogging the guy. He was just like, uh, yeah, I don't know why he did that. He's gonna get in trouble for that. He will get talked to, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just want to say that I think that he was kind of basically trying to steal it because I checked this place through and back and I didn't find it so 
he either really hit it or he had it the whole time. So he basically snitched on the guy. But moral of the story, don't trust everyone and keep up with your stuff. Because I was just, this weekend was just trash to me. Like, I just hated it all. So yeah, that's my story. Hope you guys liked it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna try to post more. I say that every time, but I really am. And um, shout out to everyone who watched my last vlog. Almost up to 3,000 views. Shout out to y'all. But uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment if you want to. You guys probably won't because I only have 50 subscribers now. And uh, But I'm getting, you start somewhere. Everyone starts somewhere. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.